okay friends now let's solve this particular problem on beam to draw SFD and BMD in ANSYS workbench choose a structural analysis then go to engineering data here you check the material properties 210 MPA is there then poison ratio is 0.27 is there <coughs> so change the material property here so instead of 210 GPA you make it 210 MPA MPA just make 210 then here 0 0.27 don't change anything let it be as it is as only one metal is there so now come to geometry ok so now this space claim have opened now modeling we have to begin so here we have this problem now <coughs> let me close this yeah the total length is a 3.5 meter is there here 1 meter 1.511 so now we have to model 1 2 3 beams separately so that we are going to get a vertices here to apply the load <coughs> it's a simply supported one so now go for a space claim then uh, select the line xy line it is there so then first line is how much 1 1.51 so 1 means 1000 mm enter the second one is 500 mm the third one is again 1000 mm <coughs> so right click then come here for prepare then go for a rectangle version <coughs> of the bar first of the beam so once it is done here only one area we have so it is 100 mm square but required here is 100 into 100 mm square so that is uh, so one uh, hundred into two hundred mm. Just put here now. Come to rectangle. So edit the beam. So once you come to edit the beam here, you have to put a roller dimension as hundred. So it is there. Click here. Hundred. Then enter. <coughs> second dimension here it is again 100 so then close this part now you come to structural come to beam profile beam so look at here it is a 10,000 mm square area is that so now whatever the curve we have drawn here just you have to convert them into beam profiles of a same area 1 2 and 3 so assign them common area so after this go for a shared topology as okay done let it be as it is B part only now come to model part so once you get this right click then go to front view So no meshing, right click, generate a mesh for the GIF default only, no need to worry all those things. If okay. you want to increase the mesh size, you can increase, so total is 3.3500 is there, you can give around 10 mm as a mesh size, again you can go for regenerating the mesh. So your beam is there. Okay, so now go for observing a beam here simply supported here also simply rotation free. So now apply the load. So in right click insert uh, remote displacement at vertex point 
the beginning apply now so now here you go so only z rotation you make free rest all you just put them as zero Also zero, also zero, also zero, also zero. So then what X you applied here? Now check the boundary condition. The boundary we both are there. Mm, two ten, two kilo newton load is there and four kilo newton load is there. So insert force here. Where the location? The location. Here. If you don't find go to box selection just select the box then you come to know apply then go for component selection negative so minus 2000 kilo newton that is also how much somewhere here it is there then apply uh, then go for component this is also minus 4000 so now the problem is ready to solve, go for right click, solve the problem.